Welcome back to 1700. We're here with Nick from Sunbeam Sound Machine. How are you doing, Nick? I'm good, thanks. That's good. That's awesome. No, it's, it's our pleasure to have you here. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your very uh, your current album. It's actually not current yet. It's coming out this Friday, isn't it? And it's called Goodness Gracious. You performed three songs from it this morning, which, well, not this morning, but a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> Why do I keep saying this morning? My brain. You practiced this morning, so you did perform it this yeah. morning, technically, in the comfort of your own home. But tell us a little bit about um, how you came up with like this album name and what's your favourite song from the track? Uh, so the album name is taken from uh, one of the songs that I just played called Anyway Anyway. <laughs> so I needed an album name so I just went through the lyrics and sort of just found a nice little phrase. Yeah, I noticed that while you were singing the song that you said goodness gracious and I got I got a bit confused. I'm like, isn't that the name of the album? Yeah. And I thought you might have done so, that thing yeah. where artists put their name in their song. And I was like, <laughs> oh, that, that, that was smart. But yeah. <laughs> no, it was oh, actually the opposite. Next yeah, <laughs> actually, yes. <laughs> Coming soon, next album. <laughs> um, do you guys have any questions you wanted to ask? Of course. So we've got your album coming out on Friday, but if there's one thing you could tell your past self, maybe this time last year when you hadn't written the album, how would the current Nick guide 2018's Nick into writing this album? Yeah, well, it took a long time to record, so it would probably be more me talking to like 2016 Nick. No, so I'd no. Say this is going to take so a lot longer. So it's been a couple of think, years, and that's okay. <laughs> so you've put in like a lot of effort into yeah, it, lots yeah. of hard work and effort. And if there's one thing, because obviously from 2016, it's almost three years. And what's mm. one thing that you'd like the audience to take away from it? What's the closest to your heart? Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure. I just hope that they like it, and and maybe they can just find their own meanings in it and their own things to attach to. Yeah. As long as someone's listening to it, that's all right. <laughs> we'll definitely be listening to it. What, uh, what's been your biggest musical inspiration surrounding this album and your past albums? Um, the biggest for this one is a band from the 80s called Talk Talk, I think. They, they made a couple of albums that I really liked and that probably don't sound that similar to the album, but I just really like the way they went about it. They also took ages to record their albums and just, okay. you know, so they didn't finish until it was done instead of rushing through it. So that's been a big inspiration. Yeah. How would you like to influence the Aussie music scene since you're an Australian artist? Um, I'm probably more influenced by it than any chance of influencing yeah. it. But um, I don't know, just putting good original sounding music out there that's not trying to sound like, you know, anything from any other country. It's personal and therefore sort of hopefully to me it sounds like it's from Australia. Oh. Yeah no it definitely does and it's got that really nice calming vibe to it and I really appreciate those sorts of songs and those music. Okay. Hmm. Uh, you're inspired to title one of your songs Daibutsu after walking around in Japan uh, at a Buddhist temple. Can you tell us how this inspired you? Um, yeah the, uh, in the background of that song there's um, a lot of voice memo recordings from my iPhone from when I was walking around. There's people running around and laughing and there was a, a Japanese tour guide who was like yelling at the top of his voice the whole time. <laughs> like, a cameo in that song. So I, oh, I love that. I named it after that. Yeah, it's full of little sound effects <laughs> from, from my day there. Yeah. Are there well, any other little, little mini sound effects that we can find in any of your other tracks? Yeah, so that's from the first album called Wanderer and there's a few on that album, like some birds in a tree near my house and <laughs> nice. a few other things like that. But uh, the, the new one, there's less of that stuff. It's more just the instruments. 